when trouble arises. Because of the word, immediately he stumbles. The Bible said that, and that word stumble don't mean like just stumble. Uh, that mean, that word means fall. The Bible, and, and you don't have to go there, but in Psalm it says a, a righteous man, though he fall, or though he stumble, it means though he fall, he would not be utterly cast down or utterly destroyed. So it's, it's, it's one thing. See, the, uh, there's two types of fall that uh, I'd like to talk about here, or bring out for a moment. You can fall or stumble, you can fall in a sense of in sin and get back up. All have sinned and come short to the glory of God. You have the Bible says, where sin did abound, grace did much more abound. So he ain't talking about stumbling like falling in sin. Because we all have failed in sin one time or another, and we got back up. See what I'm saying? So he, when he talking about stumbling, he ain't talking about stumbling in sin like that. Because see, the, the, don't you know the devil ain't worried about you just sinning? When he know you can repent, that's right. He, he uh, that ain't his highest concern. Oh, oh, well, thank God, uh, they lied today. Thank God, they committed fornication or adultery today. I mean, even though you shouldn't be doing those things, I'm not minimizing. I'm trying to make a point that that ain't his concern. Right. That ain't he. Uh, he know he's been defeated on the cross, and he know Jesus took care of all of that. He knows that we're great. Sin did abound. Grace did much more abound. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He knows that the gift of God is eternal life. Yes. Hallelujah. He knows that. And when you have knowledge of that, he knows that he can't defeat you just by getting you to sin. Yes. So he immediately stumbles. When he immediately stumbles, go back to 1 Peter. This is what he's trying to get you to do. First Timothy 4 1. Fall away from the faith. Mm -hmm. That's where he wants you to stumble at in your faith. See, if I fall in sin, I can get back up. But if I fall in my faith, I can't get back up because I don't have no faith to get back up. Let, let, let me show you what I'm talking about here. Mm -hmm. uh, go to Luke chapter 22 and verse 31. The Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan asked to have you that he might what? Sift his wheat. He wasn't trying to just get you to sin, get you to lie, get you to deny the Lord. That's what, what he's trying to do. He said, well, I have prayed for you that your what? Your faith would go, you won't fall in sin, you don't deny me. You know, but I'm going to pray for you that your faith don't fail. Because if I fall in sin and I give up on my faith, then that's where I'm destroyed. It's my faith that keeps me. It's my faith that caught that. Uh, through faith I get healed. Through faith I get delivered. Through faith I can serve it. Through faith, when I, whatever I believe in my heart, I can speak it and have it happen. Through faith. Through faith I can conquer. Through faith I'm, I reckon I, I greater as he that is in me than he that's in the world. Through faith I'm a victor. Through faith I'm an overcomer. Through faith I can conquer the enemy. Through faith even when I'm broke. Still give. Through faith, even though I don't have no that much gas in the car, I can still make it to church. Through faith, when the children are acting up, I can still have some peace. Through faith, when my marriage is a little rocky and I don't know where it's going to end up, I can still have a little joy and peace in my mind. Because my trust in God. Hallelujah. So that your faith wouldn't fail. That's what Satan, where he, where he wants to destroy you. It's in your faith. Go to uh, uh, Hebrews, if you will, chapter 6 and verse 4. Let me show you this. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For concerning those who were once enlightened, you, you, you got Satan, you got the Holy Ghost. Got the word of God, heavenly gift. Taste of the heavenly gift, and we're made partake of the what? The Holy Spirit. And tasted the what? Oh, you became a disciple. You were working on becoming a disciple because he said if you remain in my word, then when you get the word of the disciple, you got to remain in it. That's when your prayers get answered when you remain in it. That's when your deliverance comes when you remain in it. Just don't be a 
here out the word and forget once you leave here, go somewhere else and do something else because you like a man looking in the mirror and once you leave, forget what you look like. Hallelujah. Takes the good of the word and the powers of the age to come and then fall away. Mm -hmm. Fall away where? In your faith. That's apostasy of falling from the faith. See? It is impossible to renew them again to what? So when, that's why the devil want to destroy your faith because he know that if you fall in your faith, you won't be able to get back up. You won't be restored. You won't make it. So he ain't just trying to put pressure on you and trouble you and persecute you just to get you to sin. Get you to tell that little lie. Get you to cheat on your income taxes. I mean, you shouldn't do those things, but he ain't, he ain't that ain't what the devil is after. He's trying to destroy your faith. When he's trying to get you to stumble, he's trying to get you to stumble in your belief in God. Because the Bible says in Isaiah, if you don't stand firm in your faith, you won't stand at all. Hallelujah. Go back to Matthew. So number two. <laughs> A true disciple can handle pressure. I can handle 